Hello, this is Togai2, and we're going to play Pretty Pretty Contagion, a script made by Ozzy. Um, I did a Let's Play of this before, and I saved my replay, because, and we're going to do this again, because, well, uh, my voice got drowned out with the game, vo game noise. That really fucking sucks. We're just going to start out with just this replay. So why not? No fraps. 44.32 FPS, that is game lag, and fraps, of course. So here we go. This is my first ever completed run of this script. First off, we have this okay uh, art uh, cut-ins. Now we here, here we go with the boss battle. It's it's extra rank. So it has uh, nine spells, eight non spells, I think. Seven non spells. And uh, they're pretty interesting. I hope the uh, the replay doesn't mess up, because that would really suck. You know, replay these things and everything like that. Pretty, pretty laser eyes. What you have to do is stream the lasers and watch out for the red bullet. That's it. Not that hard for an open for an opener spell. I have it uh, set to a classic um, life bar instead of radial um, life bar. Same non spell as before, but faster. And the one after this is the same. And now we're gonna taste the rainbow. Maybe the tropical blend. Taste the rainbow. Taste the rainbow I love that line. That is hilarious. I'm serious, I love that line. It's, it's funny. It's hilarious. So you don't want to use a lot of uh horizontal movement, you want to use a uh, vertical movement. Unless, of course, the board's right there, then you have to move it. But, for the most part, you shouldn't have to move that much. And enjoy it. Got a bomb out of that, and here's the last of these non-spells. Fast, yes. This is actually no, I didn't die. I didn't die to this uh, non-spell. I died to the this next one coming up, which has a hint of Sonic 06 in it. And you'll see what I mean. Because it's no use. Take this. Take this. It's no use. Yeah, the bullets come from the side, and then when uh, the take, you hear the take this. The bullets that the boss scatters around like that will be thrown directly at you. Not that hard of a spell card, but it definitely keeps you on your feet with your toes. As a rock um, uh, throws this at you. And I gives you a life. In a Toho Zun style uh, life sound. Now here we go with this kind of non spell. I believe there's two or three that are like this. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice uh, non spells. The lag isn't nice though, but that just traps. And the fact that I'm trying to record sound in my voice at the same time. Of course, cut-ins always slow down the game, especially in PH3. And now we have, uh, something reminiscent of Yuko when her butterfly chases after you. Or no, concealed conclusion with, uh, Akarain who, uh, had the butterfly chasing after you. This time, just scarier. So I have the plan ahead of time on this uh, spell card. 
that I do not know the hitbox on that mushroom. Don't eat the mushroom. That's what the spell part's called. And boom. Another non-spell like this. Except this time, the stars bounce off the walls and I got killed by it. As soon as I said, I haven't died yet. As soon as I said, I haven't died yet. I get hit by... Which one was it again? I forgot which one it was. It was that one right there, that yellow bullet. So it wasn't a star. I was wrong. Well, this, I just realized this next uh, spell card bar is rather large. The Faces of Evil. I did not like this spell card. Oh my gosh, I am being pulled in. In a huge Sakuya sun. Oh great, Pebble Bowl is my favorite. Not really. At first I thought this was a, was a survival card, but it wasn't. It was just a spell card with a very big help with a very long bar. And now we have a... Uh, what the heck is this? What am I looking at? I don't know what I'm looking at, but that's not Raymu. I just realized I'm being pulled into the sun, so I better get out quick. Managed to take a life for me. Not fun. I just take this. I hope that was me and not the Damaku PH3 messing up. I thought this was screaming. It is and isn't. It's almost like cluster stream. Not that bad of a non spell. That's the last of them. One of us. Did not like this non spell either. I mean, spell card. Oh my gosh, why can't I get my voice to get game uh, meat? Game sounds and my voice. Why is having such a problem? And that hurts. I, I should have ran more test videos. Hey, a life must have. If I miss that, I'm a real dumbass. Kirby lasers. I didn't see them until uh, I actually turned around because I was looking at my clock. <laughs> Yes, this is the first script. I just wanted to make Ozzy feel happy, you know. And I'm, I'm glad I'm making him feel happy. This is a very nice script. If I'm not playing it, then that means I'm not enjoying it. But man, this this song, this song right here, this this PGM, this boss is kind of awesome. It has an obvious game. Even in your Don Rocky. Boom. I don't get it. All I know is I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This is these weird. Uh, looks like something from uh, Mar uh, Marissa Land. Super Marissa Land. Yeah, Super Marissa Land. Those enemies, those couple enemies. Looks like that's what uh, she's using right there. And uh, symbols. Looks like almost musical symbols. Now here comes the really, really crazy non-spell where it's incredibly layered. There's like five different phases. And I got scared because I thought I got it. So the lasers and then the laser grid. So it's the stars, the green bullets, the uh, laser grid in it. So the lasers and the laser grid at the same time, so there's four different phases. And lag. Don't forget about the lag. I'm gonna get in and then avoid the lasers. That was close. There was that was there was a yellow uh, ring of stars. I didn't I don't I don't know where that came from. Probably from the uh, 
pattern from before. I made this. I can't believe I made this. I'm never good at spells like these. And yes, 30 FPS game lag, craps. But at least I can do it at 15 FPS. That's cheating. Bitch, get out of my face. That's what I said. Might wanna move, sir. So yes, she aims at you two times and then she'll do her uh, zigzag thing and then go back to the top of the screen, at least until she has two phases to this spell card. The bullet should cancel out pretty soon. The bubbles, those are some pretty big bubble bullets. I, I don't remember them being that big. Alright, here's your second phase. I like it. Pony Glomp. Oh god, get it off of me. Um, now she'll chase after you while spawning bullets from behind. Buck base? Maybe. I don't remember if this is a copy or this original. I know it's incredibly colorful and it's pretty. Pretty, pretty. That boss hitbox is probably very big. Because I think I know what was causing my slowdown. The, the newer circular style health bars can often lag a game. And oh god, fish heads. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. This card was interesting. Because it's so long. Plus we have what sounds like Alvin and the Chipmunks playing in the back now. What am I listening to here? Um... What is this I'm listening to? I'm trying to listen to it closely because I have the volume turned down. It's Alvin and the Chipmunks. What the heck were you thinking, Ozzy? This is downright hilarious. Downright hilarious. What in the hell? This is the funniest survival card I have ever seen and heard. I should have bombed. The background is very trippy too. Very interesting. I must bomb. My life depends on it. Keep them up, yum. This song is very weird. <laughs> I don't know if it's timed or if it's synced with the music because it's pretty much all desynced now because of game lag. So that's PH3. Oh wow, are they curving? Are they curving? That last set of fish heads before that one was curving before it got off the screen. Alright, enough of fish heads. Then that was her last spell card because so I got it on my first try. Cue the awesome music. Oh wait, this isn't this is different music. I don't like bullets that are like this. But yes, it's very interesting. Sounds like a sounds like a, a uh, faster version of her uh, original boss theme. 
which I would like to call downright awesomeness. Ozzy, you are great at making scripts. I gotta say, keep on making them because I will keep on playing. Boss has four phases, and they all revolve around, no pun intended, uh, this concept of these, these bullets coming out and spinning around at the same time. I don't know where I've seen this before, but it's definitely not this color. It's pretty pretty. It's pretty pretty. Help me spread the pretty pretty. Anyway. This is where it starts to get a little tough because of the, these bullets. So yes, this is an extra boss rank. Battle. I think there was another game like this called Vaudeville of Fallen Discipline. Yeah, that's what it was for. This whole game was just dedicated to one boss battle. Ozzy, have you made that too? Man alive, you were awesome. Up the final phase. Scary. Actually, no, it's actually easier than the rest because uh, you can just follow these these bullets just down. I have to, I have to go up now, and then it's pretty much a natural path now. I mean, you're really in no more. The third phase is probably the, the most uh, the most dangerous. Between the, the first phase and the third phase, those were the most dangerous. The second phase wasn't all that bad, but interesting, yes. Yes, awesome, beat, yes. Woo, I beat her, yay. Did I? Did I? Fun. Uh-oh. Or pretty, pretty bitch is back. I'm back, motherfucker. Taste some more of my rainbows. My pretty prettiness. And booyah. <laughs> I was ho I was thinking, I was just laughing at the top of my lungs when I saw that. It was so funny, but it's not over yet. Why is there a health bar up there? I think this health bar is just this one right here is just dedicated to the cutscenes and then the last health bar, which is a uh, weird survival. I'll, I'll, it'll be coming soon. Not over yet. I like how they drop three bombs because I can only get one because I can't move. One bomb is all you'll need. Am I pretty? Tell me I'm pretty. Tell me I'm the prettiest of all. Give up, you're not pretty. You're an abomination. Make yourself. I'll cure the contagion of pretty prettiness by moving around a lot. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. That's my evil laugh. Hers is so much better. I am perfection. Now you're talking like Paul Paul on Super Mario. Come on. And this this spell card gimmick, I have no idea how to use it. Basically, you have this meter that fills up. And when it reaches 100, it does nothing. So... Ozzy, can you tell me what this does? Ozzy, if you are watching this, please comment and say that you have watched this. And answer that question I asked earlier about this meter. What's supposed to happen? I press the, the V, X, C button, nothing's happening. Um, uh, E button maybe? But I just don't know. It's not to use, uh, laments, uh, perversity prevails with V because, uh, on a uh, receding uh, spell card, like last wordish, but so far, this is all it is. I don't get it. But now my evil on a final spell. Rick. Rick. That's a girl. Whoa. 
doesn't sound pretty pretty. That name does not sound pretty pretty. Just as a FYI. Sounds like it. Sounds like you're clearing your throat. That is not pretty pretty like you can take it. And booyah. Jesus Christ, what an explosion. Where's my points? Did you already give me my points? You already gave me my points. So there we go, folks. That was pretty, pretty contagion. I would recommend everybody to play this game because it's downright fun. I might do a blind hard mode run if I'm feeling very torturous. But other than that, thank you for watching. This has been Toguy2, and see you for... Uh, Fairies of Sorcery.